Let's go to the voicemails. You can call me anytime. And many do call at very strange times during which I'm typically sleeping at two one nine two David P. Um, I do have six hundred voicemails to, to triage from the long weekend. I'm working on it. Uh, but here is one asking about whether I speak an additional language. Take a listen to this. Hi, David. Um, hello, sir. <laughs> Um, I was wondering whether or not uh, your family speaks Judeo Espanol or Ladino. Uh, this is a dying Sephardic language. Uh, I myself am a Sephardic Jew. I was wondering whether or not your family, um, especially because they speak Spanish, um, is is a family that speaks this. I'm the first in my family in 500 years to not speak it uh, fluently. Uh, my family are Turkish Jews. Um, which most people don't know exists, <laughs> but there is a population of Jewish folks in Turkey, and um, we were accepted by uh, Sultan Bayezid II after the Inquisition. Um, he famously told Queen Isabella and King Ferdinand, uh, what you consider to be garbage, we consider to be treasure, Whoa. and accepted by family. Um OK, yeah, no, um, my family is not Sephardic and we do not speak Ladino um, or Judeo Spanish. I yeah, being being Ashkenazi and being born in Argentina, um, we just spoke Spanish. That's it. But a fascinating language, a fascinating language. And uh, I can I'm glad to give a list of the languages I don't speak. It would just be a very, very long list. Um, and it would make for a pretty boring show. But no, a fascinating history to the language. Don't speak a word of it, although I don't know how similar it is to Spanish. Maybe it's sort of like with Portuguese or some of the Spanish dialects where it just sounds or Italian or French, where it sounds similar enough that I could understand it. All right. We have a tremendous bonus show for you today. Portland is set to vote on banning travel from Texas. This would be sort of a retaliation to the new Texas abortion law. We'll talk about that on the bonus show. Number two. A judge has ruled that an Ohio hospital cannot be forced to give patients ivermectin, period. And number three, El Salvador has become sort of the first Bitcoin nation. They have now bought for national as part of their national reserves, I guess is the word to use. They have bought, I think it's 200 Bitcoin. What does this mean? What are the pros and cons? Could we see more countries do it? Is this crazy? Does it make any sense? We will discuss that on today's bonus show. How do you access the bonus show? Very easy. You sign up at joinpacman.com. It's that simple. You sign up and within 30 seconds, you could be listening to the bonus show. If you already have an account on Patreon or want to make one for whatever reason, you might prefer it. You can also access the bonus show by making a pledge at patreon.com slash David Pakman show of at least five bucks a month. We will see everybody then or if not on tomorrow's show.